This morning I got a heads up uh, from Steve Bassford over at Sane Security that he had uh, seen a PDF file that contained an embedded document file, so uh, a Word doc file. And of course uh, that doc file is uh, like the ones we've been seeing for several months now. Uh, it contains uh, malicious uh, VBA code. So this is uh, the file here, sales invoice, and uh, like usual I add the extension .vir and it is in a password protected uh, zip file. So let's have a look with PDF ID. And indeed it contains uh, an embedded file and then also a JavaScript. So with PDF parser, let's have a look. Let's search for embedded file. Okay, and then we have two objects, object one and uh, object 10. Object 10 actually contains embedded files at uh, the plural. So that's actually a false positive because we are looking for file singular. And so the actual embedded file is here in object one and you can see that it contains a stream that is compressed uh, or flat decode. So that is most probably our uh, Word document. So let's have a look inside that stream. So for that we apply the filter and then we will see the content of the stream. But because it's uh, probably very long, I'm going to pipe this in more like this. Okay. So, and this is the content of the stream, the beginning, actually. So we recognize here D0CF11E0. And that is uh, the magic uh, signature for an OLE file. Eh? Okay. So now we are going to extract this and pass it to uh, OLE dump. So we can dump it to disk with option minus D, so the content of the stream, the filter content of the stream can be dumped to disk with minus D and then we type a, a file name and like a maldoc vir for example. But I'm not going to do this here because this is the latest version of uh, my PDF parser where I added one small option. If you type minus as the file name, then the data, uh, the stream, will be directed to the standard out. And this way you can pipe it into another command. So we are directly going to pipe it in OLE dump. Uh, so we extract it from PDF parser. We don't write it to this, but we pipe it directly into OLE dump like this. And indeed, OLE dump recognizes this as an uh, OLE file and uh, there are macros in there. So let's run our plugins. The one I always use is the plugin for Drydex and the plugin for HTTP heuristics. So you can specify several uh, plugins to be run at the same time, like this. Okay, and uh, let's scroll up a bit. Yeah, and here the Drydex decoder was actually able to decode the obfuscated uh, URL here. Okay. Now, if this is too much output for you here, then you can also use option quite. So minus Q quite, and this will only output data from the plugins and nothing else. So you see, that's the results already smaller. And here you have the URL. And of course, this output, you can grab that for HTTP. Like this. And here you have in one single line the URL 